Annyeong! Gonna do another music video reaction. I'm Katie, and today we are going to watch Zico's solo song, Tough Cookie, which I don't really imagine cookies being that tough. I never really understood that saying ever, tough cookie. They're not that pleasant. I don't like tough cookies. I like chewy cookies. This is Zico's entire composition, and I've heard that there's a little bit of controversy surrounding it. I don't really know what, so it'll be interesting to see what it is Zico did to tick off people this time. <laughs> He's really good at that. <laughs> okay, let's watch it. <laughs> A bathtub full of cookies. I don't think I like grills. They kind of really bother me. I'm sorry, but those girls in the background are not... I'm not really sure what they're doing. I mean, yes, you are, Zico. You are a tough cookie. And then this is Don Mills? I don't know him very well. Can anybody understand what he's rapping? Hey, we get who you are. I hate the girls. I think I found it. 
Okay. Before I say anything, we're gonna look up the lyrics right now. I wonder how many people have looked up these lyrics. <laughs> yep, he did say what I thought he said. I can understand where the controversy is coming in and why so many people have been upset by these lyrics. Um, I don't even know how to discuss this without talking and I don't want to say it because I don't say those types of words so I don't even know how to discuss this. I myself would never use those words. I know though not to defend Zico because I'm not going to take any side necessarily but to play devil's advocate a little bit here. Rappers and most mainstream rap songs do tend to use these types of words. Not to say that it's okay, I don't think it's okay, which is why I normally will listen to Korean rap. Because for the most part it's a little bit less offensive lyrics wise. Sometimes it doesn't, depends on who you listen to. But I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's okay, but that I understand why Zico would do it, to be honest. I, I mean, if he's trying to compete with rappers in the mainstream and not just... I mean, he even has a lyric in here as I was reading through the lyrics. He talks about um, idol rappers and how he's not like them. I mean, um, I don't even remember where it was, but... Uh, here it is. Uh, this is the English translation because I don't speak enough Korean to know that Korean. But... Pretty much he's saying that the rappers these days they don't have skills so they all have a snapback fetish so that they love you know these my beautiful big bang i don't i don't think he's talking about them i'm going to believe that forever but you know they all have a snapback fetish i mean this is the snapbacks are super 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 popular um among idol rappers right now i mean they it, it gives them a fashionable edge, they think, I guess. Um, and I think what Zico is kind of pointing out is the fact that because they aren't actual rappers or good rappers, that they're trying to use the fashion of hip-hop to make up for what they lack. So I can see what he's saying there. But I don't think he needed to use that word. Especially because he is an idol. <laughs> And maybe he doesn't want to be. Maybe this is his, hey, I don't want to be an idol anymore, so I'm going to use offensive language in order to <laughs> take myself out of that image. I mean, honestly, this happens a lot, not just in Korean pop world, but like within the American music industry. I feel like when people are really trying to get out of their nice image or a certain whatever image they've had up until a certain point, they tend to go overboard to really kind of break down the stereotypes they have built of themselves or the image they've built of themselves. I mean, we've seen it with Lindsay Lohan, Miley Cyrus. I don't think Hillary Duff did. She's one of the only ones that didn't. But either way, there's just so many artists, especially now, who are trying to break out of their debut image or their old image and so then they go down a route that I don't necessarily think they need to go down in order to break off this image but they do it because that's what they feel that they have to do. This is Zico's first solo song so I could see him really really wanting to put himself out there as as a soloist, as a solo artist. I mean he's been with Block B and he's had some really really tough times with Block B with the entertainment company and it was a long battle and we weren't sure that Block B was even going to come back. So I can see where he's getting a lot of this hate and a lot of this bitterness from what he's gone through within the idol world. And Zico is a great lyricist. I mean, that was a great song. Granted, not kosher exactly, but it was still very, very well done and the lyrics are very clever. So he is highly intelligent, he is very, very talented, and I think he's gotten very, very frustrated with his situation and how he's been treated within the idol world. And I don't blame him, he's kind of been treated like crap up until this point. I mean, it's getting better, but maybe that's why he felt like he needed to really, I don't know, ruffle some feathers and really make a statement that, look, this is who I am. 
this is what I want to be doing and I'm not just one of these other idol rappers that you're hearing that have, you know, more of a wholesome image that he's like, he's trying to be like, I'm real hip hop or whatever. I don't even know what that means really, but whatever. I can see why he would do that. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know, I haven't researched it, but I'm guessing the other issue people have had, and I, maybe I did read this somewhere, I can't remember, but I, it was very obvious. <laughs> You can't really miss it. Uh, near the end, Zico had the Confederate flag on his jacket, and it was like glowing in the the black light. So it's really, 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 really hard to miss. Now, I don't know if everybody knows why the Confederate flag is not something you really want to be displaying on your clothing. Um, for those of, of you who might not, the confederate flag in that rectangular shape represents the southern states. And the southern states, back when we were having our civil war, they were a proponent for black slavery. That's not exactly something you want to be bringing up in your music video, especially since this is not part of Korean history. I can see why that could be extra offensive to people that a Korean is wearing it mostly because that is not part of their history. They don't understand. I don't know that he doesn't understand. He may. I mean, I assume this is taught. I mean, I know about English history and I've learned about some Korean history, but you know, maybe it's not, maybe it is. Either way, showing it so blatantly in a music video, especially when there is quite a lot of people from America who do watch these music videos, it, I can see how that is taken to be also offensive. <laughs> So you've got two very, very offensive things going on in this music video. Now, the lyrics very much are a diss track, kind of, but mostly towards his past company and probably the people who are involved in making it so hard for him and Block B in order to come back and be part of the entertainment world again. So I understand why he would do it, I just, I don't necessarily approve either. I'm sorry Ziku, but you gotta be careful when you're an idol. If you were in the hip-hop scene exclusively, this probably wouldn't have been quite as much of an issue, but you are an idol, and unless you want to stop being an idol, you still have to be careful with what you put in your, your music videos and your lyrics and everything. You are still very much watched. Now, while I was looking up the lyrics, I noticed that Seven Seasons has actually put out a statement about this controversy, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. So what the agency addressed was the derogatory word that was used by Zico. Their excuse is that they didn't know how offensive this word was or they would have censored it. So they're claiming ignorance, not claiming that Zico was ignorant, but they're claiming ignorance. I, I think that they're backtracking because they didn't know what the word meant. Zico slipped it in, I think, and so they're like, uh, oh, uh, uh, we didn't know. But Zico, he likes everything, he's cool. Because they can't say that Zico didn't know what that word meant, because I know he did. Based on the way he used it, he knows what that word means. I'm gonna have to give this music video a 3 out of 10. I know, it's probably one of the worst scores I've ever given, and the only reason why it gets any points is because I did like the intense beat of the song. I liked a lot of the visuals, up to a point. <laughs> um, though I will say that he's making fun of all these other rappers and their fetish for snapbacks and everything. So he's kind of making fun of how they've got this hip-hop look but they're not really hip-hop. Well, I'm sorry, but Zico, you're kind of doing the same thing. He's got grills that, honestly, it's not exactly... I don't even know if grills are popular anymore, are they? I don't remember. I don't care that much. Oh, okay. Now that I've had a bit of a Katie around here. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know your guys' opinion. Did you guys find this offensive? Why do you think that Zico would put this lyric in there or use such an offensive symbol? Do you think that there's another meaning maybe I didn't get? Or is he just trying to be controversial? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. If you have another video you guys would like me to do, post it in the comments and I'll put it on a list and I will try to do it when I have time. Okay. See you guys